Good evening. Hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Oh, good evening, teacher. It's good, good evening, to teacher. My dears. Uh, welcome, Vladimir, Janari, Victor, um, Joao, yeah. Abdul. Hello. Uh, Vicky, Hi, Carlos, Monica. Excellent. It's nice to have you here, my dear participants. Today, we are about to finish the section five and, of course, the model. So we are going to continue with um, our platform. So I would like to show you uh, what part of the platform we are going to conclude today. And uh, um, tomorrow we expect to have some extra practices of topics that maybe you would like that I can give you a, a review in the first part of the class. And in the second part of the class, uh, we are going to have a review of the topics and the way we evaluate for the final exam. So let me share with you. Okay, so let me see. Can you watch my screen now, the platform? Yes, teacher. teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. So um, in the platform, we have the 5.10 lesson objective that says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing different abilities and talents, right? So for that, we are going to use can and can't, which is a model that we studied last night. Last night, we focused on learn how to pronounce the, the affirmative can and the negative can't. And we did a lot of exercises uh, doing this. So in the platform, in order to, work, to talk about um, abilities and talents, you have the 5.11, which says word power. And then you have a video there. I recommend you, <clears throat> excuse me, to go and watch the video. And then you will find some music or artistic abilities, athletic um, abilities or other, right? So you're going to learn vocabulary, right? And today we are going to continue in that sense, uh, the practice, the speaking practice. Uh, we are going to cover also maybe if time allow us, if not tomorrow, read and discuss an article uh, about four unique, unique American races, right? So you will develop skills in reading for details and information. So this is going to be tomorrow if we cannot do it uh, tonight. And then we will continue with the final exam. Um, maybe this is going to be tomorrow, as I said before. So for tonight, I have uh, different materials, but I would like to go to my presentation of talents and abilities. So <clears throat> can you watch my new screen? Yes, teacher. Okay. Excellent. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, I have this uh, grammar worksheet that uh, is it, this is just a reminder. Uh, last night we learned that we can have affirmative sentences with can. And in this case, can is like an auxiliary of the main verb, right? And it's, it expresses the ability of doing something. For example, I can cook. And last night we learned and we discussed that a uh, when we use he, she, and it, when you're using can, we don't have to add the letter S to the main verb. So it keeps the same, it remains the same. I can cook, you can cook, he, she, it can cook, we can cook, they can cook. We also learned that you need to pronounce properly the can't, can't and that you feel like an extra effort on your stomach muscle, right? So you need to be conscious on how to pronounce the negative can't, and you open a little bit more your lips and you show your teeth by saying can't. I can't cook, you can't cook, he, she, it can't cook, we and they can't cook. If you see in the negative also, it remains the same with no S for he, she, it, you just add the apostrophe and the letter T if you can contract it. Or if not, you say can not in the full form. When we make questions, we start with can at the beginning and then the subject pronoun and finally the main verb. Can I cook? Can you cook? 
Can he, she eat cook? Can we cook? Can they cook? And then you, you have a short answers. Yes, you can. No, you can't. And so on. So that's a fast review about what we studied last night. So it's basically affirmative form, negative form, questions, and a short affirmative and negative answers. So here, I'm going to need 15 volunteers, right? I would like that you can tell me how to complete if we can or can't before we pass to the speaking practice. So for number one, it says, I. I can't, can't, can't mm -hmm. go to work today because I'm, I'm sick. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I don't know if it's Victor or Abdul. Abdul, right? Abdul. Sir. Yes. Okay. Victor. Victor, would you like to help us with number two? Okay. Please. Uh, can your uncle speak Spanish? Yes, he can. Excellent, thank you. Volunteer for number three. Me, teacher. Okay, please. No, my friend can't drive, but he can ride a bicycle. Bicycle, excellent, thank you. Volunteer for number four. <laughs> Me teacher. I have two volunteers. I like it. So maybe Yanari and then my other volunteer. Okay. We can't go to the beach today because it's raining. Okay. And that's true. Right now it's raining, right? Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Number five, my next volunteer. Denise can play the piano. She knows how to play it. Excellent. Thank you. And in the number five is, can they go with us to the store? Like asking for a permission or possibility, right? So this, uh, the answer is no, they can't. Okay, excellent. Number seven, who wants to uh, collaborate for number seven? Let's see. Okay, Adonai, would you like, like, Adonai, would you like to help me with number seven? Okay, teacher. Uh, Denise can play piano. She knows how to play. Thank you, Adonai. Could you continue with number seven? Because uh, I think that Yanari did number six. Ah, okay, okay. Please. I already finished my work, so I can go home now. Excellent. It's when you finish the, your, your uh, work day, so you're happy and you can go home. Okay, number eight. Volunteer for number eight. Thank you, Adonai. Let's see. Me, teacher. Okay, yeah. please, please, go ahead. Excuse me. Excuse me. Where can I buy a bus ticket? Excellent. So in this case, you're asking for help, right? You're requesting some something, okay? So mm -hmm. you're asking for information. Thank you, Yanari. Okay, number nine. Victor, please, go ahead. Can you help me with with my homework. Excellent, requesting for support. Thank you, Victor. Okay, I need volunteer for number 10. Or maybe I will ask, maybe Ramiro? Yeah. Would you like to help us, Ramiro? Sorry, but the nice, but it's raining here. Okay, I know, I know. Don't worry if you can't, okay? So, I, I teacher. Okay, okay, yeah. Abdul, please. Penguins, penguins, penguins. Penguins, penguins. Penguins. Mm -hmm. Penguins can fly, but they can't swim very well. Okay, so in this case, it's penguins. Um, can't. 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 can't fly. Ne negative, right? Can't yes. fly, can't. but they, but they can't can swim can. very well. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Uh, number 11, volunteer for number 11. Teacher, solo una pregunta antes que continuemos. Adelante, Abdul, adelante. Eh, ahí, no sé si se puede decir, can, can not. You can, no. you can say, and it's correct. Ah, okay. You, you can do it, but um, normally the, the people that speaks or 
says that expression, these expressions completely are more like the British English, right? They, they speak full. They say penguins cannot fly, but they can swim very well, right? Thank you. Uh, but in the American English, they used to contract. That's why we need to teach both. Okay, thank you. Okay, volunteer for number 11. Okay. Victor, please. I'm sorry, but I can't believe what he said. He's not telling the truth. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Very good. 12. Maybe Carlitos. Okay, Ramiro. Ramiro can speak now. Okay, Ramiro, go ahead. Henry, can meet us tomorrow at 3 o'clock? We'll meet him in the library. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Number 13. Thank you, Ramiro. Maybe Carlitos is uh, available to help us? My little brother can tell the time. Mm -hmm. Now he, know, he knows, he knows what's time to watch TV. Okay, thank you. If you see, we have two sentences here. My little brother can tell the time. Can tell. Tell remains the same. You don't add the letter S. So late, then mm -hmm. you have a dot. So you have one sentence and then you start the other. Now he knows what uh, time uh, to watch uh, TV. So in this second sentence, since we don't have a can, we need to add the letter S to the verb know. So he said knows because I'm talking about he, okay? No. Yes, okay. I, I, like, I like that exam okay. example because I can show you what I was saying before. Thank you, my dear Carlos. Uh, 14, volunteer for number 14. Yo. Okay, please. Uh, can you see that bird? No, I can't. Where is it? Where is it? Excellent. Thank you. And the last one. Me, teacher. Okay, please. Do you think you can find your way your way home? Yeah, thank you. It's for for example when we when we are new in a city and other people is trying to help us and they say, do you think you can find your way home? Is, aren't you, aren't you, uh, get, aren't you get lost? It's possible that you get lost, right? So they say, do you think you can find your way home? Or aren't you uh, being lost, right? So the, the two possible ways to ask that question, but in this case is, do you think, you can uh, you can find your way home okay so let me advance now um, the practice was for you to see some sentences right so now is the time for you to practice saying your skills and your abilities for example is there something special that you can do so you have to put the pictures under the correct verb we have dive play the piano, swim, ride a horse, do magic tricks, sing, act, play rugby, dance, and cook, right? So in this case, we won't be able to put the, the drawing, but I would like to ask you to please, I need one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine volunteers to say a sentence using these drawings. For example, the first one, the boy can dive. So in the second one, how do you think it could be this, this sentence? We, 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 don't have a, we don't have someone that is like playing the piano, right? But we have a lady here playing the, the, the violin, right? Mm -hmm. So you can say that she, the no. Can. Okay. She can, can play the piano. She can play the piano, play but the she piano. can play the violin. The violin. violin. Excellent. Violin. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. So, swim. There's nobody. She can swim. swim. 
he can't swim, but he can run. Yes, excellent. There is a boy running here. Excellent, very good. Um, ride a horse. She can uh, she can't ride a horse, but she can uh, ride the no, come on. She ride the bus bicicleta in English. Ride the, <laughs> the, the bicycle. Ride the bicycle. bicycle. If you want to bike. make it harder, you say bike. If you want bike. to do it full, you say bicycle. Excellent. Bicycle. Very good. Okay, do magic tricks. We have a, a person here like doing magic trick, uh, tricks. Maybe we can say the boy can do magic tricks, but uh, he can't uh, fly an airplane, for example, right? Okay, sing. Let let sing in a in a sentence using the verb sing. She can play the violin, but can't sing. Excellent, thank you. Act, one, one example with the uh, uh, verb act. Okay, maybe we can say, uh, he can play the battery, right? but he uh, can't act, okay? Numbers is next, play rugby. He can't play rugby, mm -hmm. but he can play soccer. Yes, excellent, very good example. Dance. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can say the clown cannot dance or can't dance, but he can perform very well, right? Uh, and the last one, cook. He can cook, but he can eat. <laughs> yeah, normally all of us are good at eating. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Excellent example. Excellent, very good. So now, we have here a lot of exercises, so you will have enough chance to continue practicing at home. But in order to give you some examples, uh, in order that you can uh, make sure that you do it in the right way, you can say, uh, she can speak uh, Chinese, uh, but uh, she can't uh, like dance. Uh, in this case, using uh, he or she, right? Uh, he can, it can run, run fast. Let's talk about the horse. The horse uh, can run fast, but it can't uh, swim. Just to say an example, right? Um, the boy can play soccer, but he can't sing, right? If you see, I say can, and the verb, I don't, I'm not adding the letter S because as I said before, when you use can, you don't have to use the S in the main verb of the third person. Okay, very good. So, uh, I will invite you to go to the breakout rooms now and find someone who can speak two languages, forgive easily, can ride a bicycle, can say five words in English in that that start with the letter R, R excuse me, uh, can sing well, can name seven animals in English, can run fast, can dance, can bake a cake, can remember uh, people's names easily, can draw, can name five countries in Europe, can ride a scooter, can say five words in English that start with the letter L, can watch an English film without subtitles, can ride a bike, can walk to work, 
can sing an English song, can cook delicious food, can dance. So you are going to ask your classmates uh, what they can do about these uh, things that we have been presenting in the chart. And then when we come back to the plenary, you can say, for example, my friend uh, Carlos can speak two languages. He um, can speak Spanish and English. Just to give an example, right? Of course, you have to discuss and find more information. So I'm going to share with you this chart and I expect that you can discuss on your skills and abilities or talents and that you can share, right? So uh, at every person needs to find at least, um, let's see, at least two, two skills, right? Cada persona debería tener por lo menos dos habilidades, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? ¿Sí? ¿Is everything clear? ¿Estamos claros con lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Very good. So, I'm going to send you now. The teacher. Indicate. Yes, please tell uh, me. Two abilities for person. Yes. Of the group. Yes. Uh, first, you start identifying and maybe you can say, uh, hey guys, I can ride a bike and I can uh, say three words in English that start with letter L. And then you say lion, lime, lemon, right? Okay, and then understand. you and then you prove that you can do it so the other people knows who can do this and that right okay okay excellent and do you have more questions no teacher excellent perfect so let me invite you to the breakout rooms and discuss what you can do okay the invitation is going now I don't, I cannot walk to work, can ride a bike, yes, I can, I can, I can name seven animals in English, can run fast, can dance, can ride a bike. You can make everything. <laughs> a very talented boy, <laughs> like it. I think yes. so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I leave you uh, in order that you can continue practicing, okay? So you have okay, questions? Sure. No, no questions right thank now. You. Okay. Thank you. See you in a minute. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello. I can cook delicious foods. Hey, teacher. Excellent. I see you're practicing. Do you have questions? No question. No. Excellent. No question. Okay. I leave you for you to continue practicing. Excellent. Okay. Mm. 
No, todavía las demás no puedo ver este, las películas sin subtítulos, todavía no puedo. <risa> Hello, it's everything Hello. okay, Hello. my dears. You are discovering your talents and abilities. I like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. I think so because, for example, uh, my, uh, me, I can ride a bicycle, mm -hmm. I can dance, mm -hmm. uh, I can ride a scooter. Uh, I can cook delicious food. Excellent. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Excellent. Uh, Very good. I like okay. it. That's like the inventory <laughs> of your talents and skills, right? Talents, okay. abilities, and skills. Very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yes. Okay. So uh, I'll give you a couple of minutes, two more minutes, in order that all of you can participate and say your talents and skills, right? Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Uh, Excellent. Okay. Eh, if you don't have questions, right? Eh, ¿Cómo no, teacher? Eh, ¿Le podemos, digamos, Vicky, eh, who can do or can you do? Yes, how for can... example, you can introduce, you can say, uh, my friend Vicky uh -huh. can do this, 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 and this. And then Vicky ah, says, okay, my okay. friend ah. Yanari can do this, this, this. Uh -huh. Basically, okay. the, the purpose of the exercise, as I said before, is that you can notice that even though you're talking about a third person, you don't have to mm -hmm. add the letter S to the main verb because you're using can to say the skills, mm -hmm. the talents, or the abilities that the other person has. Okay, teacher. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So, see you in a minute. Okay. Uh, but my friend, big. Muy rápido. <laughs> no se lo oye, teacher. El micrófono. Excuse me, excuse me, my dears. I know time flies, but uh, we need to continue with other activities. So I need to call you back in order that you can mention some of the activities. Of course, I don't expect that you mention everything, but some of the skills, right? So, who would like to start? Okay. Me teacher. Okay, Yanari, please. Okay. I will, I will uh, share my screen in order that you can remember how was the exercise about. So, let me share. Okay, That's, that was the guide. So, you can uh, help yourself uh, taking some of those activities. Okay. Uh, my friend Vicky mm -hmm. uh, can run fast, mm -hmm. uh, can, he can walk to work, okay. and that's it, teacher. Excellent, excellent, thank you. Um, Vicky, would you like okay. to uh, explain your friend abilities and talents? Yeah, my friend Janari, mm -hmm. uh, she can dance, mm -hmm. she can ride a bicycle, uh, she can ride a scooter. Okay, excellent, thank you. So who else was in your team? Um, Tania. Tania? Tania, uh, who did you practice with? ¿Con quién practicó Tania? O Tania. Mm -hmm. ¿Había alguien más en el, en el equipo? Um, Vicky, quiero ver quién más. Mónica estaba yo. Mónica. Mónica. Ok, maybe Tania y Mónica. You can, you can share about, about yourselves. Con Tania. Uh, 
Can you do uh, easy? Okay. Maybe Monica, okay. you can say my, my friend Tanya can do this and that according to what he said. Or if, uh, or if you didn't have the chance, you can ask her. Si no tuvieron chance de preguntarse, usted le puede preguntar ahorita a ella. Tanya, what can you do? Can you can dance? I can, I can dance. I can dance. Mm -hmm. I can ride a bicycle. Bicycle. I can bicycle. Mm -hmm. bicycle. I can bake a cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excellent. Now you ask mm -hmm. her, and what can you do? And what can you, and what you can do? What can you do? Or can do you do? No, what, what you can do? What can, what, what can do you do? What, uh, what you can do? What can do you? Okay. What, yeah, mm -hmm. that. <laughs> I can, I can dance, and I can cook delicious food, mm -hmm. and I can, I can sing. Okay, excellent, excellent, very good. Okay, look, normally uh, I want to, to to take a space to explain this. What uh, when you have a wh word, it's correct. You say what can you do, right? What can you do? ¿Qué puedes hacer? Pero en el inglés hablado, en el inglés normal, la gente lo hace así, natural. What can you do? Right? So you need to be ready to listen that. Uh, and it's the same. They are asking you, right? But the grammatically, grammatically correct way to ask is you add the WH word here and you say, what can you do? Instead of cook, you add do. What can you do? ¿Qué puedes hacer? ¿Verdad? Um, normally when you go to a work uh, interview, they say, and tell us, uh, share with us, what can you do? What can you do for our company? That's a key question. ¿Qué puedes hacer por nuestra compañía? Entonces, ellos sí lo formulan bien formal. What can you do for our company? Pero cuando usted habla con la gente en el day by day, ellos le dicen, and what you can do? ¿Y qué puedes hacer? And no, no siguen necesariamente el orden grammatical. So it's important that you can identify that even though they don't follow the grammatical structure, they are asking you, okay? Excellent. Let me see. Uh, who else? Let, let me see. So Yanari's team is already done. Uh, Victor, Victor Martin sí. and team. Uh, I'm Vladimir Romero and uh, my classmate Vladimir Romero can run fast. And he can write a bite with a, only one hand. Okay. Oh, so talented. Excellent. Okay, Vladimir. Uh, what about Victor? Uh, my friend Victor um, can cook delicious. Mm -hmm. um, uh, okay, I can delicious food. He, he can, uh, he can he, cook delicious he can food. Cook. Delicious food. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Good. Delicious food. Y, eh, he, eh, he can dance. Okay. He can dance. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Thank you for sharing. So okay. let's see. Uh, Ramiro's okay. team. Ramiro. Yes. Were you um, able to practice with, with your team, Ramiro? With Victor and Vladimir. Ah, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. okay. Our classmate Victor told us can cook delicious food and mm -hmm. can do. And Vladimir told us uh, can run fast and can ride a bicycle. Okay, With excellent. He can run fast and he can ride a bicycle. Excellent, very good. Thank you. So let's see uh, Joao, Joao's team. Yes, teacher. Please, yes. go ahead. I was with Adonai, mm -hmm. Abdul, and Carla, right? Okay. Yes. So you yeah, decided. Me, eh, Adonai me tocaba a Carlos, right? Or Abdul? Eh, Abdul. Abdul, okay. 
my friend Abdul, he can remember people's name easily and uh, he can then. Okay, okay. My, my partner, uh, Joao, have other abilities. Has, or, has, has, he has, has other abilities. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, he can drive a car mm -hmm. and he play, he can play football. Okay, excellent. Very okay. good. Okay, in my case, my partner is Carlos and he can ride a bicycle and he can cook delicious food. Excellent, very good. And Carlos, what about Adonai? Carlitos, can you hear us? Adonai, my, my, my friend. Yes. My friend Adonai, he can drop. Mm -hmm. He can drive a bicycle. A bicycle? Bicycle. Yes. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Thank you, team. Thank you. You did a great Thank job. You, I think that nobody's missing. So I congratulate you because you were able to explain what your friends can do. And if you realize the purpose of this exercise was that you uh, make sure that when you use can, you don't have to use uh, the third person singular rule of adding the letter S, right? Because we are using the auxiliary can. Okay, very good. So uh, let me advance because I have another exercise to share in the time we have uh, left. So in here, uh, I have other questions. How many languages can you speak, right? If you see here, we are using here WH words. And as, as I was saying before, uh, we need to follow the structure WH uh, word plus the auxiliary can, plus the subject, plus the main verb and the complement. For example, here, what can you do? Uh, I don't know if I'm sharing. No sé si estoy compartiendo. Creo que no. no Permítanme no, un segundo. Sí, me, me acabo de... I realize that I'm not sharing. Okay, can you watch it now? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Yes, Very good. So, how many languages can you speak? Look, so I'm using a WH word here. Uh, and um, you, can, you can perfectly ask questions with this. So, um, again, WH, word, what? What can you do that most people can't do? Uh, so, in this case, um, you are using WH word plus the auxiliary can, plus the subject, plus the main verb do, right? In the complement. So what can you do that most people can't do? Can do, okay? In this case, what can't? Vean, esto bien tricky. What can you do that most people can't do? Vean, ¿qué puede hacer usted que la mayoría de personas no puede hacer? So this is like a special talent or skill or ability, right? But the other question is, what can't you do that most people can do? Algo que usted no puede hacer y que la mayoría de personas sí pueden. It's like a, a skill that it's not easy for me, but many people can do it. No sé si me doy a entender con esta pregunta. Yes, teacher. Sí, se entiende, ¿verdad? Ok, son un poco tricky, pero, pero por eso quiero que la veamos acá, para que eh, veamos que se puede hacer de las dos maneras. What songs can you sing? What kind of food can you cook? What kind, what can you do to make yourself feel happy? Look, this is structure. What can you do to make yourself feel happy? En este caso, do es el verbo principal. ¿Qué puedes hacer? Y en este caso, to make ya no es un verbo principal, sino que va como infinitivo. To make your feel, yourself feel, feel happy. Para, hacer, para hacerte sentir más feliz. What can you do to improve your English? At what age can people drive in your country? Look that in this case, I'm asking the question with a preposition, at. ¿A qué edad? At what age can people drive in your country? 
Uh, next question. Which students in your class can tell funny jokes, right? Funny jokes. Which students in your class can tell funny jokes? Can you remember what you dreamed about last night? ¿Te puedes recordar eh, acerca de qué soñaste? ¿Verdad? ¿O qué soñaste la anoche? What six animals can you, can eat you? What six animals can eat you? So that means like the lion, like the, I don't know, maybe the tiger, uh, and any, any well, other, any yes, <laughs> any other big animals, right? Yes, that's true. Can you make a sound like a bird or an animal? Can you say hello in other languages? Why can't chickens Teacher. fly? Excuse me. Yes, please. I'm not sure. Y si yo quiero decir, yo había entendido que decía qué animales yo puedo comer. No, eh, por eso hice eh, la, la, la inferencia. Can eat you. Vea, can eat you. Si hubiera sido al revés, sería, what can you eat? animals can you eat? Okay. Ajá, pero aquí es, can eat you. Sí, okay. en la otra, what six animals can uh, you eat? And this case is chicken, pork, uh, maybe, I don't know, a rabbit. Uh, let's see. Uh -huh. Ajá, let's see what else. Chicken, pork, rabbit. Uh, maybe uh, Garrobo, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Iguana. Yeah, but, uh, Iguana, fish. yes. The fish, yes, Adiós. of course, fish, yes. <laughs> Adiós, so, lo que conocemos aquí. Yeah, Cusuco, yes, that's true. So it's different, right? But it's good, the, good that uh, question in the two ways. Uh, why can't chickens fly? In this case, I'm asking for a reason, right? Can you remember what we studied in our last English class? What kind of thing can you do when you feel bored? Right? It's like, ah, oh, I'm not fun. It's, this is not funny and boring. So you can start like doing this with your hands, like doing this or whatever. <laughs> so uh, this is just to, to give you some examples. So I'm going to stop sharing. And now, I would like to tell you, to show you. Oops, let me see, let me see, let me see. This is a cam. Okay, me van a, a permitir un segundo que voy a buscar la siguiente cosa que le voy a compartir. Okay. Pensé que lo tenía abierto, chicos, pero ahorita se los comparto en los minutos que nos quedan. Just give me one second. Ok. Ok, now, uh, I think that you have uh, already clear what's the use and, the, um, and you have practice in a conversation how to say can, how to say can't. And then you have practice uh, can and can to talk about your skills, talents, and abilities. Now is the time to introduce you to can and could. Remember that they are modal auxiliary. It means that they are not, uh, I mean, they are not verbs itself. So it means that they are auxiliaries or helping uh, words that need to modify another verb. But in this case, we can say that we use can for the present, and we use could for the past, okay? So you say, I can drive, puedo manejar. I could drive, yo podría manejar, ¿verdad? Eh, can I drive, puedo manejar? Could I drive, podría yo manejar, right? So, um, so remember that could is the same, you can, um, have uh, present uh, sentences, I could drive, you could drive, he, she, it could drive, we could drive, they could drive. And in this case, it, it's the same. You don't have to add the letter S to the main verb when you're talking about he, she, it. You have also the negative, I couldn't drive, you couldn't drive, he, she, it uh, couldn't drive, 
we, they couldn't drive. So uh, the affirmative is uh, could, could and the negative couldn't. In this case, the letter, uh, the letter L uh, doesn't sound. You say couldn't, like if the L doesn't exist. So you say couldn't. Okay, again, when you have to ask a question, you move could at the beginning of the sentence and then you say, could I drive? Could you drive? Could he, she, it drive? Could we drive? Could they drive? And you're asking a question, right? Podrían ellos manejar? Could they drive? Um, yes, and you, you have a short answers, affirmative, short answers, negative. Yes, I could. No, I couldn't, right? Couldn't. Remember that the letter L doesn't sound. So let me see. Okay, here I have some examples. Uh, remember that uh, when we use could, we need to look for some key things. For example, um, the verb was. Uh, I in couldn't. This case, I couldn't go to the party last night because I because was sick. I was sick. Ajá. Entonces también puede ser no solo podría, sino pude, ¿verdad? En este caso es, I couldn't go to the, no pude ir a la fiesta anoche porque estaba enfermo, ¿ok? So, eh, in, next one. Eh, next one is eh, Ken, right? Ken. Ken Noel Ken. cook Italian food? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. ¿Por qué es Ken? Porque si usted ve el verbo principal, the main verb, cook, is in present. So you need to have this concordance of present for can and past of the main verb for could, uh, right? So, um, number three, who wants to, to uh, elaborate could. number three? Could. Okay, my sister? Could. Couldn't. Couldn't, could. right? Couldn't last year. Doing last year, but now she? Ken. Ken, exactly. Mi, mi hermana no podía nadar el año pasado, couldn't, eh, but now she can, pero ahora puede, ¿verdad? Ok, number four. They. Volunteer? They couldn't. Ok, they couldn't go shopping. Could you please read, read the, the, the whole sentence? The they way you think. Mm -hmm. Go, sh go shopping yesterday because the store was closed. Excellent. So you have was closed. So it means that it's past, okay, right? Close. Excellent. Close. Volunteer for number five. Okay. That's a past. Look. Cool. Could you read when you were four years old? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. I, yes could. I can. I could. Yes, I could. Sí, yo podía. En este caso sigue mm -hmm. siendo could porque estamos remontando al pasado, ¿verdad? Yes, I could. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Number six. Ellie. Ken. Ellie can ride a, can bicycle. Ride a bicycle. She rides it to school every day. Why I say is can? Because it's the present. next sentence, the verb is in present. And since it's a different sentence from the first one, in this case, I have to apply the, fir the third person singular rule and I have to add the letter S to the main verb. She rides, uh, she rides it to school every day. Okay, uh, number seven. Can't I? I'm very tired. So I. I can't go. I can't, I can't out, go out to the park to play. Excellent. So it's can uh, right? Because I'm talking about uh, today and I say go. I'm very tired, so I can't go yes. to the park to play. Excellent. Thank you. Number eight. Can you see the moon last night? No, I can't. Could you? 
Last oh, night. Yeah, yeah ah, last okay. night. Last ah, night. Yeah, I mean, yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Could you see the moon last night? No, I couldn't. I couldn't. Yes, excellent. Number nine. When could I talk? Well, talk. When, look, talk. Talk. Look, look the verb. I, I talk. Can. Yes. When can I talk? When can I talk? Mm -hmm. To you about the company report? Yes. It's like, report. ¿cuándo te puedo hablar del reporte de la compañía? So present. Uh, when can I talk to you about the company? Teacher. Yes? Is report or report? Report. 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 Yes. Okay. Number 10. Thank you. Most dinosaurs. Mm hmm uh, Welcome on land, but some uh, call, co could couldn't. fly, couldn't, no, uh -huh. couldn't fly or even swim. Okay, thank you. Why I say couldn't? Could. Because uh, you have here but, so you are, uh, you have two opposite ideas. So in the first one you say most dinosaurs walked on land, but some couldn't fly. Couldn't or even swim, no podían volar o tampoco nadar, ¿verdad? Este but me hace pensar que son ideas contrapuestas. Ok, number 11. Excuse me. I can't hear, right hear you right now. Yes, right now. So I'm talking about present, Ken. The music is, the too, music loud. is too loud. Yes, number 12. Right, right. When I was only 16. Could drive, I could. Yes, I could. I right? could drive. I could drive a truck a when I was when only I was 16, 16 years, years old. old. Was, when I was. Mm -hmm. It means past. Okay, number 13, Douglas. Douglas hit the tree because, hit the tree because he couldn't stop his car. Look. Hit, hit is an irregular verb uh, that is the same, present, past, and past participle, right? Hit, hit, hit. So, um, when I, I uh, read it, I say, ah, that he's saying a reason. Douglas hit the tree because he couldn't stop his car. So, it's something that recently happened, but already happened. So, it's past. Okay, number 14. How many? And look at the verb, eat. So it's can or, or could. How many hot dogs can you eat? Yes, can, present. How many hot dogs can you eat at one time? Oh my God, me only one, one and a half, no more than that. <laughs> or three choris. <laughs> yeah, choris are delicious. Maybe choris too, maybe choris. <laughs> okay, 15, I... I can read. Look, I can, I can, read I can right? I can't. I can't I read can't. with my reading glasses. Where are they? Without. No puedo leer sin mis lentes de lectura. I can't. I can't read without my reading glasses. Where are they? The, where are they? ¿Dónde están? Los estoy buscando. I'm looking for them. Okay, very good, my dear participants. So today we just introduced can and could. Uh, tomorrow we are going to continue with a short practice, a very- The about, last. Yes, about uh, can and could, time flies, imagine. Yeah, we were together like one month learning and I have enjoyed a lot being with you, but we need to close tomorrow. So what we are going to do is to have a short practice, a conversation practice using can and could. Uh, solving some, some questions you may have about the platform. And then in the last part, we are going to look around the final exam for you to clarify any doubt you may have. Okay, do you have questions so far? Yeah, teacher. Uh, los que ya terminamos los, el examen final, podemos imprimir ya el, 
Yes, the you can you can print your um, your diploma, and what I advise you is to uh, save it on PDF format, right? In a file in your computer, right? You can download it, uh, you can print it, you can download it, and save it in your computer. Yeah, because okay. they are very important. And please send uh, send it to to the to the administrative office and say that you want to enroll to the next module because that, that that's the process that they are going to start and as um uh, as soon as possible you can do it much better because you get enrolled earlier and then you, we can start earlier the next module right okay excellent i hope to see you tomorrow here be safe okay Bye-bye. Take care. Good night. 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 Good night.